Salem, New Jersey is a small town, South Jersey. That's the place that raised me. That's where I grew up. Uh, that's where I fell in love with football, a starting point to or where I am now. It's a place where I kind of found my own kind of style. Soon's Wisconsin is on offense. All the Clippers are off. Everybody's watching JT. But as soon as defense come on, Clippers back on. <laughs> Around here, he's like a hometown celebrity, you know. Everybody looks up to him. Every day to work on my left side on my heart. That's my baby, I love him. When he has that ball, I know JT's gonna make a touchdown. You know, watching him on TV, he had like three touchdowns. I got him to start crying. You know, like, oh my God, this is my son. You know, I can't believe I'm watching him on television. And I felt as though I was out there. <laughs> I felt goosebumps watching him break these long runs and watching a small town kid tie records with guys like Adrian Peterson and things like that. We knew it was any, but uh, just watching him on a national, on a big stage and doing it, I mean, it was, it was, it was awesome, it was great. Uh, and we loved every bit of it. I carry South Jersey with me every single day. I know that's just where I grew into the competitor that I am today. So just always having that in the back of my head, it pushes me every day. We had great running backs and athletes that came out of this town. Uh, in Wisconsin, love South Jersey guys, and, and Jonathan knew, hey, I, you know, I'm a South Jersey guy. I'm gonna continue to keep this thing going. I was a guy that came from Jersey. I won Heisman. I was a big time guy from Jersey. So we started looking back at Jersey, and it just made it that much easier because, hey, you might as well come here. We're gonna run the ball. So do you want to run the ball or not? I had the Jersey rushing record, and then a few years later. We were recruiting Corey Clement. He broke my record. And then a couple years after that, Jonathan broke Corey's record. So, you know, the dominoes fell in place. When they get here, the football part of it comes easily. Jonathan came in and was kind of, hey, I'm carrying the torch. He kind of understood what was expected of him. And he just came in and, and went to work from day one. The running backs that played before us kind of paved the way for us and you have a, a road map that leads to the top and there's different paths you can take and it's up to you to either try to follow one of their paths or create your own path to the top. <laughs>